It was a grand finale at the Democratic National Convention with Vice President Kamala Harris vowing, uh, vowing to chart a new way forward. As ABC's Jacqueline Lee reports, Harris is hoping to draw a clear contrast between her and former President Donald Trump. It was a historic moment and the most consequential speech of her career. Vice President Kamala Harris welcomed by thunderous applause, taking the stage to officially lead the Democratic ticket in November. On behalf of everyone whose story could only be written in the greatest nation on earth, I accept your nomination. Harris reintroducing herself to the American people. My mother was a brilliant, five foot tall, brown woman. She taught us to never complain about injustice, but do something about it. Harris slamming former President Donald Trump and his attempts to overturn the 2020 election and warning what will happen if he gets another four years. After the United States Supreme Court just ruled that he would be immune from criminal prosecution. Just imagine Donald Trump with no guardrails and attacking Trump on the major issue of abortion. He plans to create a national anti-abortion coordinator and force states to report on women's miscarriages and abortions. Simply put, they are out of their minds. The United Center erupting in applause when she addressed the war in Gaza. President Biden and I are working to end this war such that Israel is secure, the hostages are released, the suffering in Gaza ends. Female delegates throughout the United Center wearing white for women's suffrage. Actors Eva Longoria, Kerry Washington and Tony Goldwyn all making the case for Harris with a Chicago drumline and pop superstar Pink among the performances. Harris ending the night calling on her base to get to work. I see a nation that is ready to move forward. Together, let us write the next great chapter in the most extraordinary story ever told. Vice President Kamala Harris will now head to Washington, D.C. later on today as she prepares to debate former President Trump in Philadelphia. That debate will be on September 10th right here on ABC and, of course, Local 5. ABC News anchors David Muir and Lindsey Davis will moderate that one. And following the DNC, Iowa's Democratic Party chair now has, quote, great faith that there is an opportunity to flip some of the state's congressional districts. Rita Hart says Democrats spent the last two years on a grassroots effort to get people registered and ready to vote. Now, she says momentum and energy within the party is coming at the perfect time. We've got more volunteers that are more excited about our candidates in Christina Bohannon in the 1st District and Lamont Bacom in the 3rd District. We, we have every chance in the world to pick up one or both of those seats. So we are very much concentrating on that. Hart says that the party has been reflecting on the 2022 election where Iowa Democrats lost every federal office and all but one of the statewide offices. On the other side of the campaign trail, former President Trump is now hitting back against Kamala Harris's speech at the DNC, telling Fox overnight that she is, quote, a horrible, horrible person to run this country. On Thursday, Trump campaigned at the border in Arizona, promising a crackdown on undocumented migrants and a mass deportation if elected. If, now, the former president also responded to some recent reports that independent candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is planning to drop out of the race and endorse him. Overnight, Kennedy withdrawing his petition to get on the ballot in Arizona. Both Senator J.D. Vance and Governor Tim Walz agreeing to a vice presidential debate. The CBS debate will be held October 1st in New York City. Vance said in a post on X that he also challenged Walls to debate again, even before then, on September 18th.